welcome back to my channel. Now I've got a brand new colouring bead to share with you today. <clears throat> this has just arrived and it is Clara's new bead, Clara Markova's new colouring bead. Now I did contact a lady on Facebook, her name is, is it Tonna? Is that how you pronounce it? I've just took uh, a pen just to hand dresses and stuff. <coughs> uh, but I ordered this. I did order it just before Christmas, but I think she was waiting for stock. And I said to her, you know, I didn't mind waiting at all. There was no rush. Uh, so I'm really pleased to get my hands on it. Now, if you are aware, I do own Clara's other books. I think they're absolutely gorgeous books. I don't colour in them all that often, but I've tried to colour in them at least once a month. I'll do a little bit here and there sort of thing because the pages are quite busy. Now, I have seen a very slight uh, sneak peek of this. Uh, so yeah, it did just come out in that cardboard box and it is bubble wrapped, which is nice. So she's packaged it lovely. Is that a Dutch tea, a peppermint tea maybe? Oh, <clears throat> I think I might be having that in a bit. See if it helps. See if it helps. There's a little picture. Facebook group. Yeah, so there's all the details and an email address in case uh, you want to purchase this boot because it was quite reasonable from that seller instead of buying it off Etsy. I wasn't hit with the ridiculous price of postage, that's what it is now. But isn't it beautifully wrapped? Oh, there's loads of confetti. I'm so glad that I turned that round because, yeah, I, I'm a bit funny about me. Uh, my art room gets messy, don't get me wrong. But what, it was a good job that I went to, I was, it was a good job that I noticed that and I didn't open it and I forgot to put my phone on silent. It's a sod law, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but there's confetti everywhere so I'm carefully going to open this and pour it into here. Well, as far as I'm aware, it's the same format, the same paper as a previous books. Oh, I like the spine of this one. They have all got that beautiful spine. It is a lovely, lovely quality book. Right, come on. All the sprinkles. Let me double check. Yep, I think I've managed to, to get them all without them going anywhere, everywhere. It's a good job because my dog's in the room as well. But I like the thought, this thought that counts. So this is Little Secrets from my furry, furry house by Cora Michaelva. And let's have a, a little nosey. So we've got a sticker here. Uh, boot mark. I'm sure you get boot marks with nearly all of her books. I did manage, I was really lucky, I did manage to get two of her books. It might have been this one. And it was another one that's not on here because I'm sure that there's five. There was two. One, two, three, four, five. This is the sixth one actually. So which one? I got Fair and Miracles. Tenderful Enchantment. I got them too off Amazon UK, but you're talking like oof, over two years ago now. I thought you just love the feeling of a new book. So I tend to do all of my like first pages, so this will probably be one of the first ones that I do. So it feels like the same really nice quality paper. Pencils laid out it beautifully on this paper. So yeah, very similar, obviously similar style because that's the sort of thing she goes for, like the furries, the whimsical things. Very, very busy, busy pages. Let's come down ever so slightly. I just love the quality of these books. I feel like, I don't want to say like really posh. <laughs> when I'm sat colouring in these books, I do. I do. That one's cute with the pony. I do remember, I can't remember which book it is in, but there's a lot of mermaids in one specific one, like underwater scenes. And desserts as well, she's one for desserts. So this one's quite cute, isn't it? So you can imagine he's a baker. He's baking the birds some uh, little cupcakes. I'm just waiting for my first big double page spread. I don't think I've ever ta tackled one of these before. Oh, that'll be a nice one for Easter time, which I'm counting down the days. I'm counting down the days to spring. So I thought I'd skip to page then, but that is just the 
the thickness of the paper. It's not really, really thick, but it's 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 just right in my opinion. So I'll go through this a little bit quicker because I do realise that some of you probably have already seen this book, but it is a, a new to me book. That one's cute as well, isn't it? So leaves and flowers. If you if you are a fan of colouring leaves and flowers, you would love Clara's books. <laughs> the little kid in the background there with a the rattle, and she's got a lollipop. <laughs> so here's the first double page spread. Yes, uh, very very busy. I should really test myself. Do you know what would be interesting? And I. I'd be a bit nervous about doing it because I have no look with masking tape but imagine if you did masking tape down the centre here and did that a different colour to that and then the same and then it's all different you could do like uh, spring, summer, autumn and winter like down that would be that'd be quite cool or just different colour schemes maybe I haven't actually tried that <clears throat> yeah so a lot of houses again that's a cute castle, isn't it? And it's a flamingo. I don't think we've actually seen a flamingo in Clara's Boots before. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. So, underwater scene. Underwater scene. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. And these little fish. They look like a cross between the, the fish that you see. Oh, what are they called? The dead fire high down in the ocean. And they, they use them to catch the prey. Oh, what are they called? I don't know, I'll probably put it over here what they're called. But it reminds me of between that, a cross between that and a goldfish. Oh, some octopuses. Oh, she's a painter. I don't know, just noticed that, so she's painting it. <laughs> so some shells on this one, turtles. I don't want to like break this band too much with a brand new beak. But obviously I want to try and show you as best as I can. So this mermaid's got a beautiful dress on. You don't see all that. You don't see that all that often. Usually mermaids you just get the tail with the scales. So that's nice. Even more strawberries. And these characters, I don't know what she calls them. The little monsters? I don't know. And some grums and a frog. And of course, the little mice. It wouldn't be Clara's boots without the mice and keys and stuff. Ice creams, lollipops, milkshakes. <coughs> Rang in the washing out. Can't wait for do that again. <laughs> this is a nanny one. You get a lot of pages as well, they're really thick these books, really really thick. I like that one, I really like that one actually. You can make that into like a little gingerbread house. Oh that one's having a bubble bath, the little monster's having a bubble bath. And that just reminds me of Harry Potter, them plants that when you pull them out and then they're screaming. I don't know what they're called, but that's what that reminds me of. Even though they're smiling, that's what it reminds me of. Oh, sat in a flower. Is that meant to be a cat? Or a ferret? I'm not sure. So another double page spread. Another busy, busy, busy one. Oh, you could get some gorgeous lighting effects with these lanterns. Oh, that, yeah, that'd be so fun to do, colouring all the rest of the illustration, leaving these to last and adding your light effects. I'm really getting into that lately. Maybe this is the first double page I tackle, if I'm feeling brave enough. Cake on that one. Another double page spread. Oh, that one's funny, isn't it? Look at your face. So what is it? Pulling along the little house. And is she on a broom? Oh yeah, it's a witch, isn't it? Yeah, it's a witch. See, pages like that, it sort of reminds me of like Kirby's pages because there's so much going on and you really have to look in 
and look at the details to see what's going on. So what's so that's a hat, look, and then there's the book buckle around it, but it's been changed into a little a little village. That's quite cool. Oh, dripping Hunter, my favourite. I love Hunter. <coughs> little elf. Is that an elf? They're just adorable, aren't they? They're just really, really cute illustrations. Look at their bats! Fun fact about me, I really, really, really like bats. Really like bats. The zoo that we go to, there's a, a walk through enclosure, but and my husband refuses to go through it, and I will happily spend all day in there. All day, even though it, it stinks and you can't breathe. I love bats. It's pitch black in there as well. <laughs> but you can feel them um, flying around you. So yeah, they're adorable. Squirrel. Showing his acorns. <clears throat> so here's another one that you have to look twice at it. So it's like, I'm not too sure what that is. But it's been changed and it's got legs. Like it's come to life maybe. <clears throat> and I thought I was asleep for a second then and it's not. Is, it, is that meant to be a mole? A mole rat? Is that what they call the mole? <clears throat> I can't see any big ears. Uh, hedgehogs. And look at his little bottle. Cute. Oh that would be nice for Valentine's Day wouldn't it? Have you ever done a picture for Valentine's Day? I think I've done one or two PDFs in the past. But that would be perfect. That would be perfect for Valentine's Day. Really cute one. So she's swinging from a chandelier. You've got candles attached to it. Mushrooms galore. And you can do a couple of nice lighting effects on this one. Little gingerbread girl on this one. We move over to like the Christmassy scenes, nice. It's a nice one. She's reading her bedtime story. You do tend to get the Christmassy and Halloween stuff in um, Clown Markov's boots. I really like this one. Oh, and look at that. Is, is the one on the other page like that? No, look, look at the reindeer there. <coughs> that is cute. Another Christmassy page. So I might imagine that they are going to be Christmassy towards the end of the book. Yes, yeah, so there it is again. The polar bird pulling the sledge. So that would be a nice one to colour because it wouldn't take absolutely ages, even though I know it's for the double page spread coming up. Which is uber Christmassy. Which feels strange now. We're in January and I'm looking at Christmas pages. So yeah, it'll be a little while before I uh, attempt to ta tackle a Christmas page. That one's a lovely one too as well, isn't it? Look at the little mushroom doll. And a, and a mushroom umbrella. <laughs> that one's a lovely one too. This is a furry cat. Another furry. <clears throat> that reminds me of like, the old fashioned furries that you used to put on top of your Christmas tree. Another little house. And then at the back of the book, as all of them, there's these different shapes that you can cut out and you find the right page and then insert them so there'd be a door or a window or something. Um, I don't actually do that in my boots because I don't like cutting them, but I suppose I could do it. The options there. There is a little bit of a scratch at the back of this, but you know, it doesn't uh, and the but it doesn't affect the actual book itself. So that's Little Secrets from My Fairy House by Clara Merkova. Uh, I will leave the email address, this email address for you to email in case you want to contact the lady that uh, I bought it from because the postage was loads more reasonable. But thank you so much for watching, take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!